February in Vancouver. You can feel it everywhere. It's Thousands of Canadian sports fans developed an appetite for something entirely new. The excitement of live curling. What they discovered was a phenomenon that has been quietly growing in this country for the past decade, created in large part by the success of Canada's Season of Champions, the most celebrated series of winter sport championships in the world. People who had previously seen curling only on television have since experienced the real thing. You gotta be there. And they can't get enough. Canada is always big in curling, but now it's just it's going up that extra notch. It's an amazing sport. It's, that's all I can say. It's incredible. It starts with the enticement of several action-packed games unfolding simultaneously before your eyes. This is pretty sweet. It's always exciting when the shots are coming down and you're just cheering it on and the whole crowd goes ooh and ah. I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. The energy in here is great and the shots are amazing. People who don't normally watch curling are just watching a physical level competition. It's just unbelievable. It's just the best, best curling in the world, I think. Between games, the convenience of organized autograph sessions involving athletes from all the teams. You get here a little bit early so we could uh, see the gold medalist and uh, hope they get their autograph picture, picture with the kids. We just went through and got all of our autographs and got to pose with the medals and we're all really tempted to go wait in line all over again. They're fabulous. Just want to see them in person and see their medals and stuff. The magic of candid, entertaining, up-close and personal interviews featuring players from past and present. We all appreciate all the support that we get from everyone. The fans are fantastic. Complimentary admission to the Heartstop Lounge, the heartbeat of all post-game revelry, all day, every day. It's just a good time. It's part of like the curly experience. With all the bands and the people and the atmosphere is fantastic. You get to just see everybody with bunny hats on and being crazy and just having a real wholesome good time. And ticket prices that are mindful of today's average Canadian family. There's something in it really for everyone to come in and watch. Because it's exciting. Oh yeah. my god. Well, let's put it this way. We have a four-hour drive home now, but it was worth every second of it for the X-ray. It was perfect. Having fun and being able to go to the, the events and actually meet the curlers and be part of the, the experience with them and sharing the experience uh, with the fans. We knew we'd have a lot of fun. But the hospitality and the people around us and the curlers have made it more than we could have ever imagined. The 2011 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is bound for PEI. The memories are still fresh from the Islanders' breakthrough to last year's championship final. The moment that we walked into that arena and a full crowd was chanting for PEI was, was pretty exciting for our team to be there at that moment, at that time. And excitement is building for a hometown celebration. I can't even really imagine what it will be with a, an arena full of Islanders cheering for the Island team. It's going to be a sporting moment um, in their career that they're never going to forget. Seats are going fast in the Charlottetown Civic Center, so don't wait till it's too late. Get your tickets now. The 2011 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. You gotta be there. Ah, you gotta be there. Ah, that's curling everywhere. You gotta be there.